Embroidery Studio has many features to aid you in the embroidery design creation and editing process. All of the icons on the toolbars can be accessed through the various menus. The menus also contain other tools and features not found on the toolbars. Under the View menu, you will find a number of selections to aid you with your design visually, such as changing the background screen color and the ability to redraw your design stitch by stitch or by colors. To preview your design more realistically, click on the View menu and then click on Realistic View. The stitches will be displayed with the appearance of real thread. Also under the View menu, you can choose to put a grid on the screen. You can also select to view the design with a selected hoop. Click on Show Hide Hoop. The first time you select this, it will open up a separate window allowing you to select the hoop to put on the screen. Embroidery Studio comes with a number of predefined hoops. You can select a hoop from the list or create your own custom hoops by clicking on New Hoop and going through the Hoop Creation Wizard. Once you have the desired hoop selected, click OK and the hoop will be displayed on the screen. From the design menu, you can do things that will impact the design, such as changing the overall size of the design or centering the design. You can even create a repeating grid pattern of the design. Just before you sew the design, you will want to center the design. This lets you set where the start and end point of the design or the origin will be placed. When you click Center Design, a window will pop up giving you options of where to place the design origin. Most often you will want to select Center Design to make the origin point centered in the middle of the design. However, for caps and other such items like pocket shirts, you might want to set the origin point at center bottom. This centers the design left to right but at the bottom of the design, making alignment easier on those particular items. Once you have selected your option, click OK. When you click on Change Size, a window will pop up allowing you to input the new size. Type in the new size for either dimension. Embroidery Studio automatically changes the other dimension proportionately. If you don't want to keep the dimensions proportionate, click on the Padlock button. You can also key in a percentage instead of an actual height or width by checking the percentage checkbox. The X and Y values change to 100%. Decrease the percentage to make the design smaller or increase the percentage to make it larger. You can also use the change size window to rotate the design. Simply type in the degree of rotation in the space provided. Then choose whether you want to rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise. When finished, click OK. From the tool menu, you can select what size grid is displayed when Show Grid is selected from the View menu. It also lets you change the hoop that is displayed when Show Hoop is selected. Also under the tool menu, you will find access to the Stitch Colors palette. The palette is a floating window that shows you each color in the design and allows you to change the screen colors. You can select your color by selecting the color in the design you want to change. Pick the color from the palette on the left side and then the proper shade on the right side. You can even select your colors by thread brand. Simply select the brand you want to use from the current palette drop down list. Embroidery Studio will automatically match the closest thread color to the colors you have selected. If you want to select your own thread color manually, you can do so by using the drop down colors list. When you have finished selecting your screen colors, click the small X in the top right corner of the stitch colors box. If you're wondering how big the design or certain sections are, find out by using the ruler to measure. Click on the ruler icon. Click once on the first end of the section you are measuring and move the mouse in the direction you want to measure. The distance measured will appear at the bottom of the screen. When you click on the screen, Embroidery Studio will exit the ruler tool. You have the ability to print a copy of your design in Embroidery Studio. To print a design, click on the print icon. 
a different screen will open showing you how the design will print out. Here you have the option to select what information you would like to be printed. You can choose to print the size and color information, put a header at the top of the page. You can even choose to put an image of your company logo at the top of the page. You can also choose to print a color block analysis by checking the color block analysis checkbox. This shows each color as a separate object to aid in setting the color sequence at the machine. To print the design, click on the printer icon. To exit, click the exit printing icon in the top right corner of the window. For additional feature explanations, consult your user's manual or access the help menu in Embroidery Studio. You can also access the quick start guide including with your software package. The Quick Start Guide gives you step-by-step -step keystrokes needed to accomplish simple tasks.